Michelle from Michelle Loves Books and I'm kind of a mess today because I was just working all day and just as my last client was picking up their dogs, they came and delivered my owl cray. So that's what I'm doing today. We have to go run some errands but I wanted to open my box so here I am filming really quick my owl cray unboxing for the September month. Alright. Here's the spoiler card. That is a really cute illustration. The theme for September is Masters of Disguise. The first thing in the box is an Alcrate exclusive mug. And on the box it says, I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Oh, is this a Harry Potter mug? It is. That is so cute. So here we have the night bus. I hope it's focusing all right. Really cute illustrations. Here's the night bus, and it's a whole scene as it goes around. And at the other side, it's Harry Potter fighting off the... Oh my gosh, I'm totally drawing a blank. So this beautiful mug was designed by Kara Kozik. This is my very first bookish mug, and I cannot wait to put some tea in it. Next in the box is this apple lip balm called Kiss of Deception by Geek Fire Labs. So that's really cool. Next is this Nemesis Foaming Bath Soak created by Lilu Soaps. Your bath will be extra shimmery and foamy. I'm not a huge bath person but every now and again I really do like to soak in the tub and read my book. Right next in here this is really cool are some fingerless gloves. Let's go ahead and take them out. These were designed by the Owl Crate team. Those are really cute and winter is just around the corner and I absolutely love mittens. Right, so these are the fingerless mittens. They are really cute. They have this little raven on a button and then they have a little Owl Crate um, tag on them. So these are really cute. I'm really excited to wear these this winter. All right, and it looks like there is a little nail polish in here, a gold nail polish that says Grim Lovelies Tricks and Whispers. Okay, um, and I actually don't see this on the spoiler card. Tricks and Whispers says, I guess it's inspired by Grim Lovelies. Um, and I guess this is a book that's coming out. There's this little card in here that says to pre-order the book and you can get a tote bag. And then we have this beautiful art print. This print was designed by Christy Carter. The spoiler, the spoiler card says, a character who we feel is fantastic at masquerading herself to suit her needs is none other than Leela Bard from the Shades of Magic series. I've actually never read this series, but it's definitely on my TBR when I eventually get around to it. But that is just wonderful. It looks so cute. And finally, the book called Mirage by Somaya Dodd. Somaya Dodd, I think I'm saying that correct. This is absolutely gorgeous cover. It has a really cool feel to it. It's kind of like leathery feeling, like all Owl Crate books. They, it is signed. So I'm going to go ahead and read what the spoiler card says about this book. It says, Adventure comes for Amani in a way she never could have expected. Love you. She's kidnapped. Sorry. It's okay. Love you too. Revered and hated Princess Mar Marim. Marim. Fearing for her life at every turn, one wrong move could cost her everything. Mirage is a stunning debut with a sci-fi fantasy setting inspired by author so Somaya Dodd's Moroccan background. We were completely blown away by the world building and beautiful writing. We hope you enjoy this exclusive signed edition complete with special design under the dust jacket, as well as a letter from Sumaya. Happy reading. Okay. <clears throat> so, we have to see this under the dust jacket. I'm also worried about taking these off like they're going to get squashed. Alright, so it's a gold feather, but the inside is really pretty. 
So this sounds awesome. So sci-fi fantasy. I'm going to actually go ahead and read this too. So uh, it says, her own face was the enemy. In a world dominated by the brutal Vothic Empire, 18-year-old Amani is a dreamer. She dreams of what life was like before the occupation, of writing poetry, of receiving a sign from Dihia that one day she too will have adventure and travel beyond her isolated moon. But when adventure comes for Amani, it is not what she expects. She's kidnapped by the regiment and taken in secret to the royal palace where she discovers that she looks nearly identical to the cruel half Vothic princess Maram. The princess is so hated by her conquered people that she requires a body double, someone to appear in public as Maram, ready to die in her place. As Amani is forced into her new role, she knows she is prisoner in all but name. Even so, she can't help enjoying the palace's beauty and her time with the princess's fiancé, Idris. But the glitter of the royal court bellies a world of violence and fear. If Amani ever wishes to see her family again, she must play the princess of to perfection because one wrong move could lead to her death. Ooh, that sounds so good. And also what comes in is these little pamphlets. If you like Children of Blood and Bone, The City of Brass, and The Diabolic, then you should like The Mirage. They also have a photo challenge to participate in as well. And I have taken the pictures for last month's box and the month before, and I never got them uploaded in time to Instagram. So I'm going to try really hard to get those uploaded again because if you win the photo challenge on in <clears throat> if you win the photo challenge on Instagram, you can win a free owl crate box. So that's pretty cool. That wraps up the September Masters of Disguise Owl Crate box. Thank you for watching. Bye.